um, now we're going to talk about an arithmetic series. Okay, and I don't know if you remember when we talked about series versus sequence. A series is just a sequence with a sum instead of, you know, just a list of numbers. So arithmetic se series would be an arithmetic sequence with a sum. So let's say 3 plus 5 plus, I don't need that comma there, plus 7 plus 9 plus, I don't know, whatever. So notice that this is a sequence, right? with a pattern such that I'm adding two to each term to get to the next one. But it's not just a sequence, it's an actual series because I'm adding each term to get to the next. So it's an arithmetic series. It follows the pattern where I'm adding a number to each term to get to the next, and I'm adding the terms instead of just listing them. So it's a series. Now with arithmetic, we can actually find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series by using this formula, n over 2, a1 plus an. Sn is the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series, particularly n is the term number. A -N, you know, a1 is the first term, a n is the nth term. You should know that. So, you know, I could find the sum of any, you know, series. Uh, in this case, though, you notice this is the sum of the first n terms. So it's the sum of a finite series, not infinite, because obviously this is just going to keep growing. So let's look at this one. Um, now they tell me it's arithmetic, but let's assume that they didn't. What am I doing to each term to get to the next? So from 4 to 10, I'm adding 6. Am I doing the same thing from 10 to 16? Yes. Am I doing the same thing from 16 to 22? Yes. So this is arithmetic, um, and the common difference is 6. Now, the first term, which is a1, is 4. Now, what do I want to do? I want to find the sum of the first 20 terms. So, in other words, I want s20. That's what I want, the sum of the first 20 terms. So, that means n is 20. Now, follow this formula, right? I have now n replaced with 20. So, I have 20, I have a1, but I do not have a n. So, the sum of the first 20 terms is going to be 20 over 2, times a1, which is 4, plus a20, which I do not know. This I do not know. I have to find this. That means the 20th term. So how do I find the 20th term? Well, that means I have to first go through the nth term, which follows that formula. I'll write it again. a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a n is a1 plus n minus 1 times d, which is 6. Um, you could plug in 20 now here if you want, or simplify. I'm going to just go straight to simplifying. So 6n, 4 minus 6, so minus 2. Okay, if I were to distribute this and then combine like terms. So the 20th term is 6 times 20 minus 2, or 120 minus 2, or, let me extend this a little bit, or 118. This is a 20. So now I have everything I need to find the sum of the first 20 terms. S20, the sum of the first 20 terms, is 20 over 2. I'm going to simplify that. A1, which is 4, plus A20, which I just found to be 118. And if I were to write out the first 20 terms of this sequence and then add them all up, I would get 1220 and obviously using this formula is going to be a bit faster than writing out 20 terms and then adding them all up. So this represents the sum of the first, in this case, 20 terms. So this formula, sum of the first n terms. So once we know n, we know the first term, we just need to figure out the nth term. So if I were doing the sum of the first 10 terms, then my n here would, or my a n would be a 10. Let me see if I have another example here. Find the sum of the first 60 positive even integers. Positive even integers. So let's find the first one. Positive and even. So the first positive even integer is 2. The second, 4, 6, 8. These are positive, they're even, and they're integers. So this is the um, sequence that I'm referring to. Now the sum would be the sum and then we'll say whatever this one is, right? The sum of these, I'm going to call this a60, okay? The sum of these is what I want. What is the sum of the first 60 positive even integers? So this is the first term, the second term, the third term. I want the first 60. 
So I'm stopping at the 60th term, but I don't know what the 60th term is right now unless I write out 60 terms, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the nth term. Well, a1 is the first term. Common difference, I'm adding 2 to each term to get to the next one. So therefore, it's arithmetic. So I can use the nth term of an arithmetic se uh, sequence. 2 plus n minus 1 times d, or this is 2n, 2 plus negative 2, ah, plus 0. This is the nth term of this series. And I want the 60th term, which is 2 times 60, which is 120. This is the 60th term. This is the nth term, right? This is the nth term. This is the 60th term. But what I want is the sum of the first 60 terms. So n in this formula is 60. 60 over 2 times a1, which I know is 2, plus a60, which is 120. So if I were to, again, so 2 plus 120 times 60 divided by 2, which is 30. So if I were to write out the first 60 positive even integers, write them all out and add them all up, I would get 3660, but it's must, much faster to go through this, these formulas instead. Let's look at this. Now, this is summation notation. I have no idea what this is. What the heck is this? So if you recall from when I discussed summation notation, this says take the sum of this formula starting here and ending here. So when i is equal to 1, I plug in 1 here. Uh, I'll write it out for the first couple. Negative 3 times 1 plus 5, plus when i is equal to 2, negative 3 times 2 plus 5, when i is equal to 3, plus negative 3 times 3 plus 5, and so on and so forth, I have to go up until i30, all the way until I reach when i is equal to 30, negative 3 times 30 plus 5. Let's see what this looks like. So negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2. It's not a sequence, it's a series, so plus. Uh, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1, plus. This is negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4, plus, blah, 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 all the way until I reach this, which is negative 90 plus 5 is negative 85. So this is my series for this particular summation notation. Now, does it follow a pattern such that I can simplify or make this easier for myself rather than going from one to 30, writing out 30 terms? That would suck. Writing out 30 terms and then adding them up. So what am I doing from here to here? Two plus negative one. So from two to negative one, what did I do? I added negative three or subtracted three. Did I do the same thing from here to here? Yes, and does it continue? Yes, I'm adding the same number from every term to get to the next one, so this is an arithmetic series where the common difference is negative three. Now, I already know a1, which is two, and I already know a30, the last term, which is negative 85. So this is actually shorter than what I did before. I don't have to find the 30th term because I already know it. The sum of the first 30 terms is 30 over 2 times a1, which is 2, plus a n, in this case a30, which I know is negative 85. So the sum of the first 30 terms, or in other words, if I were to write out 30 terms for this series and add them all up, I would get negative 1245. Now because it followed an arithmetic pattern, and if it was an arithmetic series, then I could you know, skip some steps and go straight to the formula.